Hey guys, I've got a few parts today. Um, I've made the turning bits. Uh, I have to cut them a bit shorter. I have to cut them so about that that short. Um, cut each piece and drill a hole in the. I'm going to cut it just after this here. Cut both pieces like that. Then drill a hole there so it can swivel. And then cut the other piece a little bit circular so it moves fine. Then once I've done with that, they'll be about this size in total. And then I'm going to have a quite a wide frame. Um, it's about 45 centimetres wide, the frame, by the end of it. Um, I've got this bar, three-quarter inch threaded bar. Um, this isn't going to be a live axle like this. And then I got two nuts, one here, one on the other side. I've got to cut that, cut these to about that size, and then bolt them, bolt them to the hole there, bolt them through that hole, and then they that part welds onto the frame. So I'm only going to use about that much of the bolt, and then I use a little bit of this here, and use a little bit on the back as well. And now I've just put the wheels there. Um, just to show what the frame is going to look like. It's going to look pretty wicked. And it is, oh, you can't see it. It's 150 long, 150 meters, ah, uh, centimeters, sorry. And it's 86 centimeters in total wide. So, it says on DIY carts, for a very stable cart between one third and two thirds the diameter of how it is long. So um, it's 86 wide and 150 long, so it's just just under two thirds. So it's going to be pretty stable. And then I'm going to sit just before this pillow here, and the motor is going to go where that pillow is. So yeah, so yeah, it's all coming together. I just got to cut those turning bits. Uh, weld my frame together, get my sprocket and clutch, and then then get a few bits like steering wheels, and then just get all the steering column and lots of stuff, make that all up. Yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. So that's what I've been doing today. See you later.